audience so uh, learners deck uh, is back here so we'll continue our session of google forms and we'll now look into more options how we can provide different format to our google form so let's explore by using a google form which is blank we have uh, actually covered a lot of options so the topic which we will be discussing here in this video is multiple choice grid and checkbox grid so let's see how it works the very first thing that we'll be doing is changing our form name which is test and we'll see which device is more used this is just a general question and we'll provide some generic answers to it tablet mac pc and notebook maybe so uh, let's see that the two options which we were talking about are the multiple choice grid and the checkbox grid let's first see what is a multiple choice grid see multiple choice grid has actually two different segregations based on the rows and the columns so what you'll do is you'll write down your answers within the column and then you have to provide the tendency or the intensity of these intensity of these answers for example mostly and not likely so i'll show the response and in the preview window this is the way it will look it will form a matrix or a grid and the options that you will provide will be listed here in the columns we have provided four different options that is tablet mac pc and notebook all these will be available here as columns and the description which you will be providing will be listed here in, in rows so each row is connected to all these columns that is why it is called a grid and all these options are available as radio buttons so one option within the same row can only be selected for example if i would like to select mac i can select it but at the same time if i would like to select mac and pc this is not possible as these are radio buttons and the property of radio button is that you can only select one option at a time similarly if you use the next option which is checkbox grid this is exactly the same the only difference is what we learned in the above category that is checkbox and multiple choice in checkbox grid you'll have the leverage or you'll have uh, the tendency of choosing more than one option for the same option for example if you'll see the preview of this particular question now now you'll see that uh, google is actually allowing you to select multiple options within the same row so mostly can be selected for tablet mac pc and notebook all four in the previous uh, grid format which we were checking only one option could be possible as it was a radio button but in check boxes it can be used as a multiple answer so these are the two different options the only complexity we have here is that you need to provide the particular answer and the description to it so the relative answer or the relative response will be recorded as accurately as possible please you do use this in your daily surveys forms and uh, let us know your feedback and provide us with the how you used it and what was the major purpose or difficulty you faced while using it hope you have liked this video please make sure that uh, you subscribe to our youtube channel which is learners deck and let us know what else you would like to know
within the same series we will be continuing towards google forms and we will see how other options like file upload date and time works so stay tuned and have a good learning